This microphone from JLab is not like your usual microphone. This one allows you to select between four different polar patterns, meaning that it's ideal for pretty much any scenario. The microphone is made of plastic with the holder and the tripod being made of metal. It has a 5 8 of an inch connector on the frame. So if you're not keen on the included tripod, then you can mount it onto one of your own. You will need a converter if you do wish to mount this onto a boom arm. The microphone can be unscrewed from its frame if it's required. It connects through USB-C and the included cable is a right angled one which allows you to spin the mic in the stand and it connects to your computer using a USB-A connection. When connected we've got this really nice looking blue light on the front and this is your volume level and this can be turned up and down by the smaller dial underneath. If you push that smaller dial in then this will toggle the control for the volume of the microphone or the volume for the audio monitoring. The larger button which is to control your polar patterns also doubles up as a mute button if you press this in. When switching through the different polar patterns then the button clicks as you switch from one to the other. We have been using the cardioid mode so far through this review and this is the mode which is going to be best if you want to do any kind of video calls or streaming as the main audio will come directly through the front. This is the cardio pickup pattern. This is what it sounds like directly from the front. This is what it sounds like from the right side. This is what it sounds like speaking into the back. And this is what it sounds like from the left side. This is the omnidirectional pickup pattern. This is what it sounds like from the front. And this is the right side. This is the audio coming through the back. And this is the audio from the left. This is now using the omnidirectional mode, which means that if we walk around the table, and as long as we're still facing the microphone, then there shouldn't be too much in the way of difference with volume level. It should be pretty consistent as we walk around and still face the microphone as we speak. Now we are in quite an echoey environment, so I imagine that a lot of that is being picked up. But this is the kind of audio you can expect as we walk around in omnidirectional mode. This is the bi-directional pickup pattern. This is the audio from the front. This is the audio from the right hand side. This is the audio into the back of the microphone. And this is the audio from the left hand side. This is using the bi-directional, we are speaking into the front and this is what it's going to sound like if you want to podcast with somebody else. And if you've got somebody sitting opposite, this is what the microphone is going to sound like when you speak directly into the back. This is the stereo mode and this is the audio through the front and from the right hand side. This is the audio coming through the back and this is the audio from the left hand side. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. We are roughly 6 inches away from the front of the microphone. We are roughly 12 inches away from the front of the microphone. We are roughly around 1 foot, 1 and a half feet away from the front of the microphone. We are roughly around 2 feet away from the front of the microphone. Now you've got yourself a bit of an idea of what this microphone actually sounds like. Let's compare it against the Fine Fine A6V microphone right here. And this is your audio from the Fine Fine A6V microphone. Does this sound better than the JLab microphone? Let us know in the comments and if you would like to see the full review on this microphone, click on the video that is on screen now.